China, with a population of nearly one and a half billion people, stands as the world's most populous country in the world. Renowned for its rich history, vibrant culture, and remarkable strides in economic and technological advancements, China signals innovation and exploration. In this video, we delve into some of the most remarkable and pricey projects that exemplify China's grandeur. This is Tech Evolution Center. Please hit that subscribe button and keep that bell ringing so you don't miss out on my next video. Over the past decade, China has firmly established itself as a front-runner in renewable energy production, boasting approximately 40% of the world's wind farms. Among these, the Guangzhou Wind Farm reigns supreme, nestled in the vast expanse of the Gobi Desert in the western region of Guangzhou Province. In 2023 alone, this colossal wind turbine complex churned out a staggering 10 gigawatts of energy, enough to power the whole of New York Central, with an operational capacity of 7,965 megawatts. It is a feat unparalleled on a global scale. To put this into perspective, the second largest wind farm, situated in India, pales in comparison, generating a mere 1.6 gigawatts. Yet, China's ambitions soar higher still, with plans to double the Guangzhou complex's capacity by 2025. Despite its monumental achievements, the wind farm's journey remains ongoing, with construction costs to date hovering around $32 billion. While currently powering over 200,000 households, its potential to energize countless more remains untapped. However, China's aspirations extend beyond renewable energy. The nation's quest for scientific excellence is exemplified by the Tianyan, or Sky Eye, radio telescope nestled in the verdant province of Guizhou. With a colossal diameter of 500 meters, which is equivalent to five and a half football field, and an effective area spanning 196,000 square meters, the Sky A commands Awe as the largest of its kind worldwide. Born from a vision conceived in 1994, the telescope's journey to fruition began in earnest in 2008, culminating in its construction over a five-year period starting in 2011. Comprising 4,450 triangular panels, each 11 meters in size, and boasting a high-precision Hewish Stewart platform, the telescope embodies precision and innovation. Its capabilities transcend the boundaries of our earthly realm, offering Chinese scientists a portal to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, from galactic evolution to the exploration of distant celestial bodies. The successful realization of Tianyan heralds a monumental addition to the space odyssey worldwide. Amidst these monumental endeavors stands the Shanghai Tower, a titan of modern architecture and engineering prowess. Rising majestically on the eastern bank of the Huangpu River in Shanghai's Pudong district, this architectural marvel reaches a soaring height of 632 meters, making it the tallest skyscraper in China and the third tallest structure globally. Conceived in 1993, the tower's development spanned 15 years, culminating in its construction, which commenced in 2008. The meticulous groundwork, including the installation of over a thousand foundation piles, ensured the tower's stability on Shanghai's ever-shifting terrain. A labor of love spanning six years, the tower's completion in 2014 marked the dawn of a new era for Shanghai's skyline. Adorned with more than 20,000 glass panels, the tower's sleek facade reflects China's unwavering commitment to architectural innovation and urban grandeur. The Shanghai Tower stands as a testament to architectural ingenuity, distinguished by its iconic twisted silhouette. Officially unveiled in February 2015, this towering edifice has evolved into a bustling hub of commerce and culture. Within its sprawling expanse, visitors are greeted with a myriad of offerings, from retail therapy in chic boutiques to culinary delights in gourmet restaurants. The tower's offices, entertainment venues, and conference facilities pulse with the energy of a thriving metropolis, while the ground floor houses a captivating city museum adorned with lifelike wax figures and an interior that echoes the essence of Chinese life and heritage. 
Ascend to the tower's 118th floor, and you'll be treated to a breathtaking panorama of Shanghai, one of the world's most populous cities. Here, atop the clouds, an observation deck invites visitors to marvel at the city's dynamic skyline and bustling streets below. While the exact construction cost remains veiled in secrecy, experts speculate figures ranging from 3 to 4.5 billion U.S. dollars, a testament to the scale and ambition of this architectural marvel. Meanwhile, in the heart of Sichuan province, the Tianfu Airport emerges as a gateway to the region's burgeoning growth. Nestled in the city of Lujia, 50 kilometers from Chengdu, this modern aviation complex symbolizes China's commitment to connectivity and progress. Born from the pressing need to accommodate a burgeoning population and surging air traffic, the airport's construction commenced in September 2015, culminating in its grand opening to passengers in 2021. With three expansive runways and two terminals designed to welcome 60 million passengers annually, Tianfu Airport embodies efficiency and scale. Yet, plans for expansion loom on the horizon, with three additional runways and terminals slated for construction, effectively doubling the airport's capacity. This strategic development positions Chengdu as the third most pivotal city in China, following in the esteemed footsteps of Beijing and Shanghai a testament to its burgeoning significance on the global stage. Meanwhile, in the realm of infrastructure, China continues to rewrite the record books with the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, a marvel of modern engineering spanning the eastern province of Jiangsu. This architectural triumph, recognized by the Guinness World Records as the longest bridge in the world, stretches over 164 kilometers, connecting the bustling cities of Shanghai and Nanjing in unprecedented fashion. Surpassing expectations, Chinese builders achieved the seemingly impossible, erecting this colossal structure in a mere two years. In 2011, the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge was integrated into the illustrious Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway, solidifying its status as a marvel of modern transportation. Spanning a staggering 164 kilometers, the bridge's construction demanded a monumental effort, devouring 2.5 million cubic meters of concrete and approximately 500 metric tons of steel. The price tag for this engineering feat? A hefty 1 billion U.S. dollars, exemplifying the scale and ambition of China's infrastructure agendas. Meanwhile, Beijing Capital International Airport, affectionately known as Shudu, reigns as China's largest aviation hub, seated just around 20 kilometers from the heart of Beijing. Since its inauguration in 1958 as the nation's pioneering airport, Shudo has undergone a remarkable evolution, transcending its humble origins to become a bustling nexus of global connectivity. Initially serving a select elite, the airport's expansion was inevitable, driven by the insatiable demands of China's burgeoning populace. Today, Shudu boasts three terminals, each a unique addition to its architectural grandeur and functional efficiency. With the latest terminal unveiled in March 2008, Shudu stands tall as a beacon of national pride, garnering accolades for its unparalleled service and safety standards. Its iconic starfish-shaped design and state-of-the-art facilities epitomize China's commitment to excellence in air travel. Venturing southward, Hongqiao emerges as a bustling nexus of intermodal transportation, spanning over one million square meters in the vibrant metropolis of Shanghai. Seamlessly connecting suburban districts with the bustling heart of the city, boasting an array of transportation options, from Shanghai Hongqiao International Airport to high-speed rail and subway lines, this transportation hub facilitates swift and convenient interchanges for commuters, residents and visitors alike. With the capacity to serve over 40 million passengers annually, Hongqiao symbolizes efficiency on an unprecedented scale. The genesis of this transportation genius traces back to 2005, when the concept of a comprehensive transportation hub took root in the visionary minds of Shanghai's leaders. A year later, the Shanghai Rainbow Investment Organization embarked on a journey to transform this vision into reality, 
with construction commencing as part of the infrastructure overhaul for the World Expo. Today, this bustling hub stands as a demonstration to Shanghai's status as a global economic powerhouse, facilitating the seamless movement of over a million passengers daily and reducing travel time between Beijing and Shanghai to a mere four hours, a feat once deemed unimaginable. The completion of the Hongqiao hub marked a crucial moment in Shanghai's transportation landscape, with construction wrapping up by the end of 2009 and operations commencing at the dawn of 2010. Its inauguration heralded a new era of efficiency, effectively alleviating the city's chronic congestion woes. Inspired by its success, cities across China, including Hangzhou, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen, embarked on similar endeavors, investing in the construction of their own transportation hubs to streamline urban mobility and enhance connectivity. Among the myriad of transportation initiatives, the Guangzhou Shenzhen Hong Kong High Speed Railway stands out as an exploit of cross border connectivity, bridging the divide between Hong Kong and mainland China. Stretching over 142 kilometers, the railway network commenced construction in 2007, with high speed trains thundering into operation by 2011. Divided into two sections, the Guangzhou Shenzhen segment spans 116 kilometers across mainland China, linking bustling cities with blistering speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, the Hong Kong section, covering 26 kilometers, delves beneath the city's bustling streets, traversing underground tunnels to seamlessly integrate with Hong Kong's urban fabric. Despite initial resistance from some quarters, the Hong Kong government's investment of over 8.5 billion US dollars has yielded dividends, with the railway now ferrying a staggering 79,000 passengers daily, a true testimony to its indispensable role in enhancing regional connectivity. While China's transportation network hurdles into the future, its energy landscape is also undergoing a profound transformation, with nuclear power emerging as a cornerstone of its energy portfolio. The Qinshan Nuclear Power Plant, cushioned along the picturesque coast of the East China Sea in Jiangsu Province, symbolizes China's nuclear ambitions. Commencing construction in 1985, this pioneering facility blazed a trail as China's first independent nuclear project, boasting cutting-edge pressurized water two-loop reactor technology. Today, with seven units churning out a total capacity of 4,286 megawatts of power, enough to power half of Los Angeles, the plant stands as a demonstration of China's nuclear power prowess and economic resilience. Now, coming to the maritime domain witnesses a groundbreaking innovation with the debut of the world's first dual-fuel Suez Max LNG crude oil tanker, a triumph of engineering knack from Guangzhou Shipyard International. With a displacement of 158,000 tons, this vessel marks a true shift in sustainable maritime engineering capable of operating on both natural gas and crude oil. By harnessing the power of liquefied natural gas, the tanker fosters a greener future, slashing emissions and improving ecological preservation efforts. As China sets sail into uncharted waters, the introduction of this pioneering vessel signals its staunch commitment to environmental stewardship and technological innovation, propelling the nation to the forefront of global maritime leadership. Here comes the big one. The Three Gorges Dam, a monumental feat of engineering, stands proudly as the world's most powerful hydroelectric power station. Nestled in Hubei province along the majestic Yangtze River, this gravity-pulling dam harnesses the river's immense power, generating a staggering 8 billion kilowatts of electricity during heavy rains in 2020. That's enough to power the entire European Union and the Middle East combined. Beyond its formidable energy output, the dam boasts another superlative. It reigns as the largest structure by mass on Earth, tipping the scales at over 65.5 million tons. The genesis of the Three Gorges Dam dates back to 1919, when the idea was first conceived. However, it wasn't until over a decade later, amidst the tumult of the Sino-Japanese War and Civil War, that the project gained traction. 
China's renewed commitment in the 1990s paved the way for the dam's construction, which commenced in December 1994 and reached completion in July 2012. With an estimated cost of 3.5 billion US dollars, the project epitomized China's ambition and determination on a grand scale. Surpassing expectations, the dam recouped its costs a mere four years after commissioning. Meanwhile, in the vibrant landscape of Shanghai's Pudong District, a celestial marvel graces the skyline, the world's largest planetarium. Situated in the burgeoning New Lingang City, this architectural wonder captivates with its sheer magnitude and celestial allure. Spanning an expansive 39,000 square meters, the museum complex boasts a massive 24-meter solar telescope, immersive exhibition halls, state-of-the-art research centers, and a spherical theater. Designed as a model of the universe, the museum's sinuous contours and celestial motifs beckon visitors on a cosmic trek unlike any other. Exhibits ranging from lunar soil samples to rare astronomical artifacts, including works by luminaries such as Newton, Kepler, and Galileo, offer glimpses into the mysteries of the cosmos. Building upon the success of Singapore's Marina Bay Stadium, the Chinese government unveils plans for a colossal floating arena, poised to accommodate over 100,000 spectators. Inspired by the divine symbolism of the lotus flower, which symbolizes peace, purity, and harmony, the stadium's design embodies elegance and serenity. While details regarding construction timelines and costs remain shrouded in mystery, one thing is certain. This floating masterpiece will not only claim the title of the world's largest, but also stand as an indication to China's unwavering pursuit of architectural excellence on a global scale. The Bay Panjang Bridge, straddling the border of Guanling and Qinglong counties, is a spectacle of modern engineering, forming an integral part of the Shanghai Kunming Expressway. Its claim to fame? It holds the prestigious title of the world's highest bridge, with its breathtaking suspension structure soaring a dizzying 565 meters above the ground. Aptly dubbed the Road to the Clouds, traversing this architectural wonder offers travelers a surreal experience, with some finding themselves enveloped in a cloud mist as they journey across. The construction of the Bay Panjang Bridge was a monumental undertaking, drawing upon the expertise of tens of thousands of individuals to bring this vision to life. Despite the daunting terrain, their efforts culminated in a bridge spanning 1,341 meters, forging a vital link between the two counties. Commencing in 2011, the initial phases encountered a brief halt, but construction resumed in 2013, culminating in completion after three years of tireless labor. With an estimated cost of 150 million U.S. dollars, the Bay Panjang Bridge has emerged as a transformative force, slashing travel times between the two counties from five hours to a mere one, enhancing connectivity and economic prosperity in the region. Meanwhile, the Hangzhou Bay Bridge claims the title of the third longest bridge in the world, spanning water bodies. Stretching nearly 36 kilometers, this monumental structure serves as a vital artery, linking the cities of Jiang and Ningbo. A collaborative effort between Chinese and British architects, the bridge's construction spanned a decade, with the groundbreaking commencing in June 2003 and completion achieved ahead of schedule in May 2008. The Hangzhou Bay Bridge has not only shortened the distance between Shanghai and Ningbo by 160 kilometers, but has also catalyzed economic integration, paving the way for the inclusion of Ningbo and Northern Jiang into the greater Shanghai economic zone. In the realm of aviation, Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport emerges as a shining example of modernity and efficiency, located in the Huadu district of Guangzhou. Completed in August 2004, this state-of-the-art airport replaced its predecessor, heralding a new era of air travel in the region. Recognizing the need for expanded capacity, authorities undertook a comprehensive upgrade in 2009, doubling the airport's passenger handling capabilities. Today, Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport stands as a demonstration of China's commitment to excellence in air transportation, 
boasting world-class facilities and operational efficiency. Lastly, the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway stands as a beacon of prowess of the Chinese technological advancements, boasting the title of the world's fastest railway. With trains hurtling along at speeds of up to 308 km per hour, this 1,318-kilometer artery connects two of China's economic powerhouses, the Bohai Bay and the Yangtze River Delta, in a mere four hours. Commencing construction in April 2008, this ambitious project was completed in just over 2.5 years, a remarkable feat considering its scale. Today, the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway stands as one of the busiest in the world, serving as a lifeline for commuters and travelers alike, with trains departing every three minutes during peak hours. The construction of the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway is truly a monumental feat of engineering, commanding a staggering investment of 33 billion U.S. dollars. Anchoring this transformative project is the Beijing South Railway Station, a sprawling complex revered as the second-largest railway station in Asia. Spanning an impressive 320,000 square meters, the station boasts 24 platforms, a testament to its scale and ambition. The genesis of the Beijing South Railway Station traces back to 1897, when it served as a modest terminal for regular railway services. However, it wasn't until 2006, in preparation for the Beijing Olympics, that Chinese authorities embarked on an ambitious endeavor to erect the largest railway complex in the country. Collaborating with architects from the British firm TFP Farrells and Tsinghua University, the South Station emerged as a beacon of modernity, its design reminiscent of an ancient marine arthropod, the trilobite. Upon its unveiling on August 1, 2008, the station captivated with its grandeur and innovative infrastructure, featuring a plethora of shops, restaurants, and VIP lounges nestled within its expansive confines. The construction of the Beijing South Railway Station was a Herculean task, requiring over 60,000 tons of steel and nearly 500,000 tons of concrete. A workforce of at least 4,000 individuals toiled tirelessly to bring this architectural marvel to fruition. With its 24 platforms, the station stands poised to serve up to 30,000 passengers per hour. Meanwhile, Beijing Capital International Airport stands as a paragon of modern air travel, situated 20 kilometers from the heart of the capital. Boasting three terminals, the crown jewel is the Dragon Terminal, also known as Terminal 3, which opened its doors in February 2008. Encompassing a sprawling 9,986,000 square meters, it ranks among the largest airport complexes globally, second only to Dubai International Airport's Terminal 3. Serving as a hub for aviation alliances such as Air China, One World and Star Alliance, the terminal is equipped with state-of-the-art amenities, including underground parking, mother and child rooms, and advanced security systems. Further enhancing China's transportation infrastructure is the majestic Zhengzhou East Railway Station, the largest in the country. Nestled in the burgeoning business district of Zhengdong in Henan Province, this architectural marvel commenced construction in June 2009, culminating in completion by September 2012. Connecting passengers to the western reaches of Beijing in a mere 2.5 hours, the station has become a vital artery of commerce and connectivity. In 2013, integration with the city's metro system further solidified its status as a cornerstone of modern transportation, while the subsequent inauguration of the Zhengzhou Kaifeng Intercity Railway cemented its role as a linchpin of regional connectivity and economic development. The East Station witnessed a transformative milestone with the inauguration of the high-speed railway connecting Beijing to Hong Kong, marking a significant leap in connectivity and accessibility. Now, denizens and visitors of Zhengzhou can embark on a seamless journey to West Kowloon in Hong Kong aboard a high-speed train, completing the voyage in a mere six and a half hours. Spanning an expansive area of 350,000 square meters, the station boasts an impressive infrastructure, featuring 32 tracks and 30 platforms, 
underscoring its status as a bustling transportation hub. Notably, the construction of the East Station entailed a substantial investment of 4 billion yuan, equivalent to over 555 million U.S. dollars at the latest exchange rate. This hefty financial commitment underscores the magnitude of the project and its strategic importance in bolstering regional connectivity and economic development. Meanwhile, the Suzhou Industrial Park endears a fruitful collaboration between China and Singapore in fostering economic growth and innovation. Nestled in the heart of Suzhou in Jiangsu Province, this sprawling industrial zone spans 278 square kilometers, serving as a beacon of industrial prowess and innovation. The foundation of the Suzhou Industrial Park traces back to 1992, when China's former supreme leader Deng Xiaoping drew inspiration from Singapore's remarkable infrastructure development. Following extensive deliberations, both governments forged a partnership to establish a unified industrial project in Suzhou. Initially, Singapore held a controlling stake of 65%, with China owning the remaining 35%. However, as the project faced initial challenges, Singapore gradually divested its shares, deeming Suzhou economically unattractive. Despite these setbacks, China remained steadfast in its commitment to the project, leveraging its scenic locales to attract major investors and spur economic growth. By 2019, the Suzhou Industrial Park burgeoned into a thriving ecosystem, with over 25,000 companies operating within its confines and foreign trade surpassing 1 trillion US dollars. This resounding success serves as a testament to China's unwavering economic acumen and prowess, reaffirming its position as a global economic powerhouse. In conclusion, the Suzhou Industrial Park exemplifies the synergy between China and Singapore in fostering economic prosperity and innovation, underscoring the transformative impact of strategic partnerships in driving sustainable development and growth.